On behalf of White Deer Run, Bowling Green, and COC Health Group, I want to welcome you to this important event focusing on the newest breakthroughs in treatment of opiate dependence. Here in Pennsylvania, you've got a million people that have alcohol and illegal drug problems that don't have access to treatment. You know, the numbers nationally maybe are 21 million. So we've got a giant challenge facing us. And it's easy to make the argument that it's the number one health challenge facing in America. You know, if you go to the criminal justice system, for God's sake, we've got two million people behind bars. And when you start looking at their background, mental health issues and drug and alcohol abuse are integral to the reason they ended up with self-destructive behavior. It's a huge and important problem. And I've been proud to be associated with CRC for better part of seven, eight years now. And, you know, we, we like to talk about 140 treatment centers and 30,000 people in treatment each day, but that's not the relevant number yet. You know, we've got this huge community, and it's our own sons and daughters and employees that are out there struggling. Um, I've spent a good bit of my last 10 years defending methadone as one of the most scientifically validated and effective tools dealing with opiate addiction we've come up with when combined with other forms of treatment. And you know, stabilize sobriety a day at a time, back to their families, back in the workplace, that's our goal. Now, I do think down the line, and Jerry runs thousands of people in treatment, sure, at times we talk about methadone-free life, right? And buprenorphine may well be for um, a drug that is not a, a long-term drug. But at the end of the day, you know, we want the, the community to diagnose a given individual. Are you a pregnant 16-year-old female? Are you a 60-year-old homeless man? Do you, what is your situation? Are you malnourished? Are you HIV positive? Uh, do you have resources, yes or no, and then come up with a treatment option to keep that person in recovery? I think that's the best going in answer. But five years from now, Jerry will give you an answer based on data and long-term recovery. Uh, how do we get this guy back to his family, back to work, in a cost-effective manner? And that's what we're trying to do in the drug abuse field also. And so, thank God, through NIDA, Dr. Nora Volkow, $800 million of research money a year, we're starting to bring into play other tools. The magic of methadone, buprenorphine, other drugs dealing with alcoholism. And today we're going to talk uh, with tremendous optimism about Vivitrol. And most of you know it, you've been using it for 15 years successfully in alcoholism. Now we're going to bring it to bear on the problems of opiate addiction. A problem that here in Philadelphia, we're talking about one of the top three cities in the country for deaths, overdose deaths, and opiates. So, Vivitrol, tremendous potential, added to counseling, added to detoxification, uh, added to 15-day package, perhaps, of in-house in uh, therapy to change the destructive behavior of people with this chronic drug abuse challenge. Uh, so. Medication-assisted treatment is a huge initiative for the Department of Health and what we do. And I am really excited. We've had counties using Vivitrol for years with alcohol dependence, and I'm really, really excited where we're going to go with Vivitrol and opiate dependency. Because as the general said, that's the only, it's the only stat in Pennsylvania that continues to change. And unfortunately, it's changing in the wrong direction. Every year, we have more and more folks admitted for opiate treatment. And every year, they're getting younger and younger. This is not an inner city problem. This is not the IV drug user, homeless man uh, on the corner problem. These are our teens, these are our kids, these are our young adults. And this gives us the opportunity to treat them in a way we've never been able to treat them before. And I really believe that this is going to significantly change the landscape of services in Pennsylvania. And I'm excited to be a part of that. I'm excited to see where we're going to go with this. I think it's just the beginning, quite frankly. I hope it is. And as the director of the single state agency, you all have my commitment. This will remain a top priority uh, within the Department of Health. I think, although I can't speak for what's to come, I think regardless of what happens with drug and alcohol services in Pennsylvania, it will continue to remain a top priority. And we give this our commitment because this is going to 
hopefully change that number of a million people needing care. And unfortunately, in the publicly funded system last year, about 70,000 people got care. So when you have a million people needing it and we're treating 70,000, we have a great, great need out there. So hopefully, you know, movements like this are, are really going to begin to make the difference. Uh, so it's very exciting for me. I've just been to CRC a couple of months and it's uh, a very unique company in an incredibly important field. Uh, we have 5,000 people strong around this country. Uh, our largest uh, set of facilities in, is uh, here in Pennsylvania, the White Deer Run Network of about 20 inpatient and outpatient facilities. I think it's a very well-known um, and uh, uh, strong uh, brand here in Pennsylvania. We've been in business here for 40 years, working with the state and all the, the, the various agencies that uh, um, have been so helpful to us as we, as we built up our business. This is a, a special day for us because we think it's being the biggest company, we are the largest company in behavioral health and the substance abuse uh, treatment provision business in the country, it comes a responsibility. And the responsibility is to look and to foster innovation. So looking for innovation, fostering innovation, and hopefully deploying innovative solutions um, in, in this industry. And today's announcement is really an educational event um, here today, and we appreciate all of you coming. We think that, that, that what we're going to talk about today with partnership with Alchemies and CRC Group around Vivitrol is truly an important uh, innovation as, as well. We've got uh, a, a long history of our company around uh, science-based intervention, around reporting, collecting, reporting, and, and publicizing important outcomes in the substance abuse field. And uh, we really are pleased, as, as all could be, to be here today working with all of you. So without As Andy indicated, CRC is committed to providing the best evidence-based treatment uh, options for our patients and uh, CRC is very committed to the implementation and development of further uh, treatment regimens and, and capabilities including uh, brain imaging, EMDR, DVT and a combination of counseling and medication assisted treatments. Um, as many of you may know it's a significant national problem in fact uh, if anyone doubts the magnitude of the problem USA Today front page pain clinics in Florida being shut down because of the proliferation of prescriptions uh, that, that created a tremendous